A turbulence hit Singapore Airlines flight from London to Singapore was diverted to Bangkok on 21st May after a 6,000 feet dive in five minutes, resulting in a 73-year-old British man's death and 20 passengers in intensive care. On 26 May, it was a Qatar Airways flight from Doha to Ireland that encountered turbulence injuring 12 passengers. Each year, thousands of aircraft face turbulence, costing the aviation industry up to $1 billion annually in delays and damage. But what causes it? Let's find out. So turbulence, like choppy sea waves, is caused by thermal, mechanical and shear forces in the air. In case of a thermal source, the turbulence stems from warm air rising through cooler air. When the source is mechanical, air flow disrupted by mountains or man-made structures triggers the turbulence. Shear turbulence is induced by air pockets moving in different directions. This turbulence is what leads to sudden rises, falls and rocking of the aircraft. Then there is the clean air turbulence. As the name implies, it occurs in cloudless and invisible conditions, making it particularly difficult to detect. This type of turbulence often occurs around jet streams, which are high-altitude air currents characterized by rapid winds, typically found at 40,000 to 60,000 feet. Aviation experts say aircraft are designed to withstand severe turbulence, but it is unlikely for any turbulence to severely damage aircraft. But it can still pose risks, prompting pilots to avoid it by adjusting speed, altitude and flight path. In some extreme cases, turbulence can cause structural damage due to strong winds. However, climate change is believed to increase the frequency of mid-air turbulence due to changes in high-altitude wind speeds that are caused by warmer air from carbon emissions. Researchers at the University of Chicago predict that wind speeds will increase by 2% for every degree Celsius of global warming. This could go up by 4 degrees by the end of the century if greenhouse gas emissions continue to rise. Not only global warming, but the increasing number of flights is also partly to be blamed for the increased turbulence. Busier skies are making it more challenging for pilots to avoid turbulence while maintaining a safe distance from the other aircraft. Pilots manage turbulence with detailed pre-flight forecasts like meteorological data that they use to plan their routes, helping them avoid isolated thunderstorms. And in case of clear air turbulence, pilots rely on reports from other aircraft on the same route and adjust speed or route to minimize impact. Crew members are also trained to respond effectively to mid-air turbulence. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Business Standard for more such insightful content.